Hey guys, are you looking for a way to color grade your videos or enhance your video experiences? Today, I'm going to show you how to use Dehancer Pro Film Emulation Plugin with any of the host platform that you might have DaVinci Resolve or Photoshop. Uh, and we'll, I will also show you how to install the Dehancer Pro plugin and then use it with your DaVinci Resolve. Before we get started, I want to mention that this video is in collaboration with Dehancer. I have given my genuine review about the product and this, I, this review has not been altered in any way. So let's get started. I'll go to Dehancer. Dehancer.com and here you will see multiple options uh, that's for video, photos, they also have an iPhone app uh, and I will get to the iPhone app a little bit later. First, we'll select video option here and you can see that it supports DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro. These are the host platforms that it, it supports and we have the Dehancer Pro OFX video plugin. So let's go to the downloads and here you will see the host applications that it supports and also the operating systems so i'm using a mac device so i'll i have selected this option you can select windows or ubuntu linux and then there are different products that you can use i for, for this video i'm using the dehancer pro ofx plugin now you can directly go, get the trial from here or you can download the dmg file directly so if i click on it download has started the question you might have is why should i purchase a 500 dollars subscription for dehancer pro when there are other options available in the market for video editing like imovies canva premium subscription the reason for that is davinci resolve when combined with dehancer pro film emulation plugin offers you professional level video editing options and the film emulation that you see in movies. Of course, iMovies, you get options for enhancing brightness, contrast, saturation, vibrance, and Canva also has a lot of video enhancements. But for Canva, when you are trying to import a movie for editing, it only allows you to do a 1 GB file size of import, and you will have to do a lot of patching when you have 10 different 1 GB size videos to club together and even the quality might get compromised in such scenarios while DaVinci Resolve plugged with the Dehancer Pro it will give you one seamless experience in the same tool itself you can definitely start with iMovies or Canva Premium if you are a beginner and then gradually move to the Dehancer at a pro level okay so we have downloaded the zip let's open it if i double click on it and here you will see the dmg file so since i already have it installed i will not install it again but you can double click on this and it will start the installation for you once this is done we will go to the davinci app and then you can select an existing project if you have or you can select a new project and in the new project we will go down at the down at the bottom at the bottom you see this color option that's where we will go and check if we have the dehancer installed if i type you will see the dehancer pro film emulation plugin loading up here and that's it you're all set with the dehancer pro now next i'll show you how you can utilize dehancer pro to enhance your videos Okay, so now that we have the Dehancer Pro plugin installed, you can see here, uh, let me walk you through on how we can apply the filters or the plugin emulations to your videos, video clips. Now in DaVinci Resolve, there are multiple ways on how you can import a project or apply a media uh, which you want to edit. First is you can go from the file and in the bins 
you can uh, import you can start a new project or you can import some media by going into the import option second one is on this part where it says the media you can directly right click and it says import media that's the option and you can directly it will take you to the folders and you can select a file or a video that you want to edit or color grade if i open this it will ask me to change the frame rate because i shot in a different frame rate and um, it finds the best frame rate for your for your video so that uh, i'll just click and change and now it has it has imported the video for me the next steps and this is very neat in davinci resolve it it has all the tools set in line so you, you don't have to worry about going back and forth here the next part is cut now on this video there might be multiple places where i want to edit or cut the video due to some bad lighting or any number of reasons and it davinci resolve allows you to do that here right here in the app okay now before we do any of the editing let me just take you to the colors option where we can apply the dehancer pro filter and the reason i'm jumping here is i want to show you how you can make sure the dehancer pro if you have purchased a license how, where you can apply that license to your davinci resolve now since i've imported in the library you can see dehancer pro and if you drag and drop it off it will be applied to the clip and it will open in the set the settings for your dehancer pro here if you scroll down all the way down you'll see the license info now if you have purchased the license and they have sent you the keys when you click on the license info it will pop up the steps for you to apply your purchased license okay and going back to the cut option here uh, i need to cut a little bit of the video right about here right about here because you will see there is a slight darkness in the video and i want to get rid of that see this one so what i will do is about here and we use this is the scissors which means it, it is that is where you want to put a cut and then we'll go on the other part right about here yeah so here i'll make another cut and i will just get rid of that clip and that is that is how much i want the video to be a part of this this tutorial so we'll get rid of the rest of it now you, you have now you have made sure the amount or the part of video that you want to edit next step is going to the edit option and here you can apply different effects to your videos you can put in filters you can apply au effects and multiple things you can if you have an audio that you want to apply to the video as well you can directly import that audio right about here now we don't want to go in this options so much for this tutorial i want to show you how to color grade the videos that you have just um, selected now since i already imported the dehancer pro plugin here I will get rid of that and let's say we want to apply some other applications or we want to apply some other filters so uh, color stabilizer now you see this message that I got just now that is for the color stabilization and it will the DaVinci Resolve needs you to purchase that 
but I don't want to purchase DaVinci Resolve. Now, uh, let's say color generator or color palette. And yeah, here it, it can give you multiple number of options for the color palettes and you can control the hues, saturations, uh, lumens from here. Then let me create some more nodes. Uh, add a node. Add another node. Get rid of that. Add a next node. I want one node in parallel. You guys can use the promo code displayed here. It is orange cap 27 for a 10% discount. And you can use this for all Dehancer products except the iOS app subscription. Okay, I have added the parallel node. Now, I might even want one more node right about here. Okay, so that is the nodal flow for, uh, if you're not using the Dehancer plugin, right? Here, this could be your color grade. This could be a color balance or white balance, rather. This can be your saturation. Then, this will be the vibrance. And let's say. Okay, yeah, this can be your color space transform. And this, if you have a noise, then this can be the noise reduction. So these are how many layers that I would usually put in the DaVinci Pro. Now, when you have Dehancer, let me get rid of this and this noise reduction this is just the answer and I will only go and plug the answer pro you can see some color modifications have happened here now when the moment you drop that in the answer pro it will open up the settings for you and this is where everything happens for the answer okay you can select from the sources they have a bunch of sources you can choose your the own camera itself apple cameras black magic designs canon dji and even sony but for this video i will select the Cineon film log okay now that has changed my video a little bit okay this was before and this is after i applied the Cineon. Now I can see a lot, a lot of dark spots in here. We'll just increase the exposure a little bit. I'll make make sure you enable the defringement. I'll exposure. I'll adjust the exposure, the temperature. We can bring it down to a little bit cool because that's how I like that. Defringe it a little. And the profile you can export. The, can install the profiles if it's not already there there will be an option when you click on profiles and you can um, it will automatically install all the profiles that it finds okay we'll do a little bit pull here to adjust the background colors a film developer I let's click and enable let's see what it does contrast boost yes I want a contrast boost here and gamma corrections a little bit of color boost so this is when i remove the colors and this is when i do a slight little color boost now film com 
compressions is what I don't want to use you can you're welcome to use it but make sure you enable here so that it applies the compression um, for the expand option yeah I would like to get a little more black point and we'll reduce some whites uh, in this you can set the color density if you if you like that and exposure slightly this is the main area for color head now if you select gang it will automatically club in all these colors up here and you're seeing it not it's not applying because i have not selected the enable option now now you will see all of the color grading as i move it around the line but I don't want it to be ganked. We will do, yeah, okay, that's a good color. A little bit on the cooler side. We'll pop up the greens and slight red because when we move to the next part, it, you will see some yellows and some reds. I want to pop that color here, okay and the next one so this is where if you if you zoom in or zoom out you will see that there is a lot of noise around this image and i want to get make it smooth so in the film grain i've selected yeah i want to select 65 mm and i say is 50 if it's outdoors and we will bring the amount down all the way to zero and that gives you a softer looking look here and it's enabled film damage if you are into now the best part of this emulator is uh, or this emulation plugin is it will allow you to give a movie like feel if it's a film damage you can you can give some damage to that and it will give you a antique vintage looking um, vintage looking filter to the video i don't want that for this video just yet and then there are get view overscan is something i i don't like to use a lot but we can see the exposure if i apply it and we'll see is how the overscan will look no I, I don't want to apply that just yet vignette is one of the things that a lot of people prefer to give a contrasty look at the edges a monitor it depends on are you if where you want the video to be viewed or uh, you can apply the monitor clipping uh, accordingly output it's set at 100 i don't want to change that um, lut i don't want to change it either you can export luts if you already have some and it will give you some options some more options instead of small and large or normal instead of small and normal options uh, we get high and this will be slow speed now for the uh, purpose of this video i'm just keeping it to normal and fast so that the processing gets faster and now let's see this is the original color of the video and this is what you are getting after you have applied the filters I would prefer this color grading over this one at any point of time.
and Dehancer also has an iPhone plugin and it's really simple to use. Now the Dehancer video emulator, film emulator that we just saw for a newbie it it takes a little while to get used to the uh, to get used to the options and the color grading but if you're already aware of how DaVinci Resolve works and how color grading works then it it would be easier for you otherwise it would really take some time for you to learn and understand the Dehancer Pro plugin but on the other hand the Dehancer app that we are seeing it's really easy to use and it supports iOS devices it costs much lesser than the Mac or Windows version of it that's it for this video thank you for watching and see you again